Hello everyone, my name is Aditya, and today we will be looking at leveraging OCI AI text extraction using Oracle integration. The use case is pretty simple. We have a couple of PDFs on an SFTP server. Uh, each PDF is a distinct invoice, and what we're trying to do is parse those PDF files and try to get the invoice number out of those PDFs and rename the PDF to invoice number. So in the center of it all is Integration Cloud, uh, kind of orchestrating the whole flow. Uh, we are using Integration Cloud's file server. Uh, the first step is to get the list of invoices. Uh, and then for each invoice, we are calling the Analyze Document REST API of the OCI Vision Service, which will return us a JSON array list of lines and words. Using those JSON lines and words, we will do some parsing logic and try to find the invoice number uh, in, in that list. And then using that, we will rename the files uh, and move them to another folder inside the SFTP server. Since at step three, the parsing logic is a little bit of raw logic, there could be an issue and things could go wrong. And so you could extend this use case and have Integration Cloud kick off a human task if there is a failure, um, notifying someone to go and check that particular PDF at the particular location and manually uh, rename the file to that invoice. But in this demo, we are not doing that additional process cloud step and we just have the Integration Cloud piece. So before we jump into the console, uh, some prerequisites, number one, since we are connecting to the OCI vision service using the REST adapter, we need to build the OCI signature. And there are lots of videos out there that explain how to get these details. The second is we need to create a connection to the OIC file server. So the file server within OIC is not enabled by default and you have to go and enable it. You also have to enable some users and create the files and folder structures. And last, uh, if you go into the OCI console, you can go into the vision UI and literally upload your invoices there and check what is going in, in as a request and coming out as a response. And you can use this to build your raw logic. So let's uh, jump into the console. When you log into your OCI console, you can go under analytics and AI and under the AI services is our new vision service. If you click on it, uh, this will take you to an overview page. And then what for this demo sake, what we're interested in is the document AI. Here, as I mentioned, you can come in and drag and drop your PDFs. Uh, and this is my example PDF. So once it analyzes, it will give you the request and the response payloads. And you can also play around with um, just the UI to see what the words are, what the lines are, things like that. Uh, so in our case, what we're interested in is this value, 112255. And if you look at the lines, the value is right after the word invoice colon. So we could use this logic to find this number, and that's what we have done in our integration. So jumping to integration cloud, since we're connecting to the vision service using REST APIs, we will configure the REST adapter. Uh, and it's a pretty simple configuration. You can get this URL from the REST API documentation. And you can get these details from the OCI console when you create the fingerprint. So jumping into our integration, my integration is rename invoices with OCI vision. Uh, it's a scheduled based integration that lists files from the SFTP server and does a loop for each file. For each file, we will call the Analyze Document API, passing in the file data. And what that will do is return us the list of lines and words. And in my example, I'm iterating over the lines, trying to find the invoice number. Once I find the invoice number, all I'm doing in this scope is renaming the files and putting them in a, another location. So before I run the integration, let's look at the files within the folders. 
So on my OIC file server, I have two PDFs. And once I run this, they will be moved to the processed folder where currently there is nothing uh, with the renamed invoice number .pdf. So I just submitted my integration and you can see it succeeded. Now, if I go back to this directory and just refresh, you can see that the PDFs were renamed with the invoice numbers. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.